views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Sunflower Media Mint. Some programs might include strong images or language that not might be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. What can you do with 30 minutes? For us, we define things. Straightforward. New perspectives. No gray area. It is black and white. You're listening to the new You Podcast. Evening, everyone. Um, welcome to the show on 21st of May 2020. Welcome to the new You Podcast. We're back. I'm H together with Reg. For tonight's episode, we have two fashion photographers in the show right now. Gina and Diego. Diego. Welcome to the show, guys. Hi, Hi guys. guys. Right. Well, <laughs> we've we started um, the new you with about two weeks, right, Rich? Yeah, so around two weeks. Yeah, we're on the second week right now. We're at episode seven. Okay, so the new podcast is more of, well, just discussing anything under the sun, but more focusing on society and culture. So for this episode, we're going to discuss about you know, fashion and the same time photography. So we get two of the most well promising fashion photographers right now. So we have Nina and Diego to discuss about what's new with fashion photography. Guys. How have you guys been? Yeah. We're, we're live. Um how are you guys first? Nina, Diego. You're in Tagig, right? Yeah, yeah. we're living Tagig. <laughs> How are you guys there? We're very good. good. Yeah, we're good. You know. Is it home? Like uh, everyone else. Uh, how, how's life during the, the lockdown? Oh, quarantine? People people are starting to go out now. Thank yeah, God. actually. The city um, looks very cool when yeah, you go outside. It's starting to have more life. Um, just nice to be out uh, and be able to go out and stay safe. Uh, it's been hard, you know, to stay creative, I guess. I think that's, that's I'm sure a lot of you guys have experience that you know like staying creative and staying positive over the uh you know over the lockdown and just basically taking that time to reflect create and turn it into something positive i guess yeah well that that's yeah. that that's one of, well, that's one of the reasons why we started this um podcast well for sanity's sake it's, yeah it's, exactly it, it's a matter of well interacting with the outside world like, like what we discussed with the previous episodes um We've been wanting that interaction with, with others, of course. And then we're having this mm-hmm. show, even though this is actually an independent show. No producers. The producer is actually me and Reg here. So, so we produce our own <laughs> show in a matter of well, just inviting anyone, friends. Well, we last last time we had Mo on the show, and then we had the cast of Amhuling El Bimbo. So we've been talking about different, just anything under the sun. And well, for this yeah. for for tonight, I think uh, what what we've been trying to to share to everyone is what changed. Right? I mean, how are you guys doing photography? Well, well, we, when we say fashion photography, it's a matter of for for some, they see it as it has to be grand. It always has to be all of this effects, all of this um, decorations, all of this all this ever stuff that is thrown into it to make it grand and all. But right now that we are all confined in this, well, in our own homes, okay, like when we, with the previous episode, we have Paddy Chu and uh, Mark Thompson, the DJs, and how they're being creative with their own live sets. Right, so right. they were just really... They're, they're into events. Yes, yes. Yeah. They, they were less... Like, they, they are actually like using Christmas lights for the decors, just anything useful in their houses to make it look like a set in a club. So with you guys, I mean, fashion photography, your photographers, how do you cope up? I mean, how do you, how do you squeeze all those creative juices and turn it into something that you want to share for the night? Yeah, okay. I mean, for fashion photography, it's, yes, it's about the clothes and, you know, like the fashion of things, but it's also a, a lifestyle or a mood that you're mm. trying to capture. So. You'd be surprised. There's some fashion photography. It's considered fashion photography, and the subject is like completely nude. You know. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's just yeah. a, it came 
it, it can be different. It can be not just like people or just like in clothing, you know what I mean? It can be everything, everything you can shoot, you know, you can make it fashion. You can make it fashion, yeah. Exactly. It's really just how you shoot it and, and uh, like, it's really your, all about your vision. Because there are people who like, let's say, <clears throat> you can take a girl in a bikini and shoot her in so many different ways. You can shoot, you can shoot it in one perspective, it could be fashion, and then you can also shoot it in a you know, it's really just into a photograph. So. Yeah, so I see fashion as a perspective, you know. Yeah, so actually, you know, that's the thing, like like creating f fashion, um, even with just a small set is, is possible. It, it's possible even just shooting a self-portrait. So I, mm -hmm. I think, you know, because like before, when, you know, when we have, we don't always have these big productions when we shoot fashion. Yeah. We don't always have to have these accessories or, you know, pieces it can be as simple as like ripped jeans like a white t-shirt you know shot black and white it's still fashion so. yeah only in a subject you know it can be something very yeah. simple you know it's about it's literally about uh what you can see on it you know it's about your exactly. vision your perspective of it so you can make it that into fashion yeah yeah so, well, i guess it's not really a challenge to create fashion but how have you guys right been now, doing since the lockdown started? I mean, kasi diba, chef, of course, um, since the lockdown started, you guys couldn't go to your studios, you guys couldn't have your shoots. How has it been? Yeah. Uh, Diego, I think they're froze. Yeah, I think it's There you go. It's, uh, it's like because I have an idea brainstorm as well like it's to shooting like thinking of concepts right exactly it can be not only um uh, let's say you have to go to your studio to make it creative you have to make something creative you need to create something in your house and make yeah. it in time so you can make it you can make something mm -hmm. I think they're freezing um Harley they are. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the internet is that good tonight, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, go. We've done a couple of guys. Shows guys, hold on, we're losing you for a bit. Are you guys okay? like okay? Yeah, they're, they're there. Sorry, yeah. we lost you for a bit. Oh, sorry, there you go. Could you? <laughs> Yeah, could you say it again? I mean, like, what have you guys been doing since the lockdown started? Because of your your studio's been closed, so how have you guys been doing your regular shoots um, in the setting of being in lockdown? Mm, for some time, we're actually, we're actually thinking about other ways how to do it, you know? Because you have to brainstorm. Okay, how am I going to do that, you know? Exactly. How am I going to create something that actually I need a subject, I need a... I need I need a story to I need to create a story for it, you know. Mm -hmm. We actually uh, sometimes we even practice with each other, even you know. Mm -hmm. We practice mm -hmm. like doing different lights, uh, create different uh, different stories. So yeah, that's that's what we've been doing on this, this on this lockdown. Yeah, I mean it's 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 difficult also to like you know like because you know when you shoot sometimes, right? Of course you can shoot almost anywhere you can just shoot in a simple corner but actually like we the shoots that we wanted to do we wanted to actually like shoot in different locations you know what mm -hmm. i mean so you try to make use of what you have in the moment gotta yeah. make use of what you have so since we can't really go around you know we just we just try to, to create kind corners or or little spots you know around the area that's accessible that we can shoot done a couple of FaceTime shoots as well during the lockdown. I mean, honestly, I'm not a fan of no. FaceTime shoots. Okay. But how, okay, how is it? How is it? How does it work yeah. for people that don't know how it works? Because again, for people like Harley and I, we're not in that industry, so we don't know how yeah. it works. And I've seen the photos that you shared with us, and I'm surprised you did it through FaceTime. Wait, can, we share <laughs> yeah, so can we share it here? Can we share it here so they, they would know? Yeah, of course. you can. Okay, okay. So this is me. So share the first one where where I'm actually modeling for fa for a FaceTime shoot. Okay. So it's taken by uh, our good friend and mentor, at I am Doc. 
So that's his Instagram. Okay. So basically, <laughs> with FaceTime shoots, you have the model or your subject has to be able to know how to set up light. Light. By themselves. They have to set up everything by themselves. You basically just getting the vision of it. You cannot be there or like move the camera, like change position. You have to literally tell your uh, your model to be changing everything. They have to understand exactly like, so, lighting. So you guys need shadow. You need Nina. Exactly. This, this, so this is you just modeling there in your home, and then the photographer taking it exactly via FaceTime. Exactly. Yeah. The, but of course, I couldn't actually see myself. Yes, this was yes. a, using the back camera. Mm. I put my phone in a tripod. I was just using a ring light. And it's literally right here in this room, like where I'm sitting. That's cool. I mean, yeah. the, for for people that actually is actually not, not really keen on photography and all, this is something that for them would look like a shot in a studio. Exactly. Yeah, and it, it's quite surprising right. that the the product, the quality of the of the, of the image, is actually something like this, and and that's something good that uh well, being optimistic with what's happening with all of this pandemic, all of this um, lockdown that we have right now, this is a product of creativity from you guys. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was of course like you know I I I had I have this mask lying around at home. Mm -hmm. Um, I tend to collect these things, you know, I, I, I see something interesting, I buy it just in case I'm going to use it for a shoot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, so I, do, I, I had it lying around and I, I thought it would make a nice image, Ray, uh, Helmut Newton, like a famous photographer, yeah. inspired by his work. And uh, yeah, we just, we just decided to try to, to, you know, to do FaceTime shoot and yeah. But uh, it, it's difficult because I it's it's not a selfie because I can't exactly, see myself. Yes. Remember that it's using the back camera, so the photographer literally has to have a lot of patience mm -hmm. because he was literally directing you the whole time. Like he's the director. But you shot it yourself yeah. with your camera. You shot it with your own phone camera, no? No. No, no. It's on FaceTime. So I can't see myself. She right? She is FaceTiming the photographer. And then the photographer ah, okay. from the other side and his side. Yes. That's that, exactly what we're doing now. But isn't that because in the e call, like for me, like I thought about it. If that's going to be the case, would it wouldn't connect internet connection be like a huge factor then for that? Uh, actually it is. it is, it is. The quality of the images, right? We thought that was the case, but we discovered this thing that FaceTime has a button. And when you click that, it's a white button in the bottom left corner. And basically when you hit that button, you don't take a screenshot, okay? You you hit that button and it takes, it uses the other person's phone and takes a photo with their phone and then sends it to you. Whoa. Right? All that. <laughs> yeah. iPhone hacks. Mind blown. No, yeah. See, that's something we didn't know. Or that, that that's why when you told me when you told us about it, like the FaceTime shoots, I couldn't I couldn't grasp right. my mind about it. I mean, honestly, okay, so that was me as a model. So I had no idea what it was like operating the, the FaceTime. I wanna expand like, this okay, picture more. So at least they, they get to and see then, the quality of it. Because if I'm looking at I it right see. now, so sorry, Nina, but if I'm looking at it right now. Even yeah. even the edges and all. I mean, like what Reg is saying, like right now she actually froze. <laughs> so the yeah. even how bad the internet right now in the Philippines, that's going to be a factor. But the the thing here is, you guys are doing this on FaceTime, and yet we're still seeing the details of it. Even the strands of your hair at the left side of it, it's still very clear. Right. So uh, basically, yeah. I mean. I didn't really know how it was like operating it. Right? I was just mm -hmm. like, wow, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So this whole time I thought he was actually taking screenshots, right? Mm -hmm. And I decided to have a FaceTime shoot where I'm the photographer. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm also just trying, you know, I'm trying to put together some content. Mm -hmm. And also I wanted to, to try it. Everyone's yeah. doing it. I want to at least experience, you know, what's it like to do a FaceTime shoot. So I did a FaceTime shoot with this model. And... I, 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 I was it on taking screen. screenshots. Okay. I was basically taking screenshots at first. Okay. 
And I remember I was thinking, wow, the connection was so bad. It was so blurry. I could not even see her face. And I, I had to tell her to hold still until the connection was good. And then I'd take a screenshot. It was so difficult. And then she told me about that thing about FaceTime where you hit the button and it takes a photo with her camera and then sends it to me. And I was mind blown. Like, literally. <laughs> you ever notice how mind blown I was? I was just like, oh, that is amazing what? and uh the photo that you're seeing the mm-hmm. one of the girl mm-hmm. uh with the mirror right i took i took that with that trick like with the pressing the button without the screenshot so i think i think that's definitely like a game changer in a sense that like you know you, we can literally take images with someone else's phone like control their, their camera <laughs> Well, okay, you you see, but in a good way, point. I feel like it's resourceful at the moment. <laughs> it's resourceful you know? at the yeah. moment, yeah. I don't know if you guys saw, but Bella Hadid shot... Um, she shot uh, she a book trial. cover, yeah, book, bazaar book. cover. And she was basically in her room. Mm-hmm. She put some clothes. And I was like, okay. She called a photographer on the FaceTime. And she was like, okay. Let's, uh, they, they shot, they, it was on Vogue, Vogue cover. Mm-hmm. And then it was a bazaar editorial, Harper's Bazaar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So basically, yeah. she did uh, two magazine covers at home. A lot That's of them actually knew, are being shot at home. Robert yeah. Pant- uh, in the an actor from Batman. Robert Pattinson. He, he, shot, he shot himself for GQ at home. Like, he shot himself in the mirror. Literally. Yeah. So you gotta have skills. You gotta have skills to set up. Actually, when we're doing castings or when we're doing the, uh, we should we should be at home. Last week I was I was shooting Nina here and writing this room for a client. Maybe. So we're setting up <laughs> everything at home. We're shooting at home. Yeah, that's that's good. I mean, um, at this point in time, the the only thing, well, the X factor here coming out of this lockdown is definitely our own skills. I mean, whatever skills. Yeah. Every person exactly. acquires. You really have to. You really have to. Yeah, like, okay, say, okay, how I'm gonna make photography works in the, in the moment that the things that is happening right now. So I'm just like, okay, I have to think. How I'm gonna shoot something that is being shot in the studio or being shot in like a different location at my own place right now. Mm. So really, you really have to think about it to, to like to like brainstorm on it so you can uh, you can. You have that vision to see that way. So you're like, okay, you guys are like, wow, this is really shot in your place. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You literally this is have really to shot use in your, your place. imagination. You shot this in your room. You shot this in your office. You shot this in your living room. That's you true. know what I mean? I mean, it may- so you really have to like open your mind for it and just like, okay, how can I, how can I make it happen? You know what I mean? The same way, literally. Yes, and the, and the, the limitation is only your your imagination. I mean. If, exactly, if, if you exactly. have a very broad, exactly. a very wide imagination that you can play, you're being playful and all. The, exactly. There's no boundaries. So uh, how can you improve in a situation? It's about adapting, I think. That's true. Know? That's true. Yeah. Literally, like Monday, Monday and yesterday was the uh, first days we left our place after, let's say, almost three months. You know. Mm. So literally after, after almost three months, that was the that's the first Monday was the first time we left our place, and we we're like wow. So we're, you know what I mean? we're like wow. We went to Makati. We we're like wow. <laughs> it's like the, you know what I mean. The first time that you we're see like, oh outside God. again. Yes. We this, we're out. We went to this like uh, not restaurant, but it's kind of like a food stall that's next to my studio. Yeah. We always used to go and grab food there after shoots. And we imagine we haven't been there in like a while. We were just like, wow, I'm so happy to see this place. <laughs> I'm so happy to eat some hummus and fish kebab. Exactly. So, <laughs> it yeah. felt weird no? in, a, in a good way. Na parang, I guess you missed it. The, the little things near your studio. The yeah. 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 I guess it makes you be, you, you become more grateful for what you, yeah. for the things That's you true. have That's daily. True. Because yes. we don't know. We are literally like, uh, like locked down or stuck in a cage or in our place, you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. We just don't leave for like for going anywhere, you know? So like it makes you feel very grateful to be able to do like the things that you usually do in your daily basis, you know? Be able to go out, you know, like so the easy of this lockdown now in the last days, it it makes us reflect and go out for the first time and really realize how important uh, and how we like how these things in our life that we don't even a uh, little, uh, how can I say? Appreciate. Appreciate. Yeah, true. 
are very important for us, you know, are very, very important. That's right. Yeah. So, like, being able to to shoot in the studio, to have a space, to to work, to to go out in a restaurant. Yeah, to get so, a cup of coffee. Yeah, then, so right? a lot of times we're not grateful for it, but we really should be thinking more about it and be more appreciative about, uh, about those things in our lives. Yeah. But actually, it's really nice that we actually push us to improve. This situation literally like, okay, how can I make that the same thing that I was doing outside inside my own place? Mm -hmm. right. So it makes you really think about it, like, how I'm going to do that. It exactly. actually pushes you to be It pushes creative. you to be creative and be better and become a better version yeah. of yourself. You know? Because let's, let's, yeah. let's be honest, like, you know, before the pandemic happened, everything, it was just like a giant reset button, you know? It was exactly. Like, it yeah. is. It is. Yeah. It makes you reset yourself to point zero and be like, okay, how can I do it bad again? You know, yeah. In a different and way. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, you know, our, our industry is, like, it's a creative industry, right? There's exactly. a business side to it in which we work for clients and we shoot products. So commercial yes. work. It's commercial work, right? That's, but we also have a creative side in which, you know, it's all about what you can create and it's all about exactly. your vision. And that's why... A, a, a client will book you because of your work ethic and your vision. Exactly. And, and you know, it's about like what that. you do, what you can see. So basically, they they will get you for your vision, but your vision needs to be your own. So like nobody else can see like you. I cannot see like you. You cannot see like me. I cannot see like Nina, and Nina cannot see like me. So we are all different. Right. But like, like before before this happened, you know, parang I felt like people were not really being creative anymore actually you know exactly you're just following a pattern yes a pattern. Yes. Like a pattern. A pattern. A pattern everyone need to do like this because you like this and it thinks that it's like they're like that you know or everyone is just like we're all just kind of copying each other like there was just like nothing new in a sense and i'm not saying that there might be anything new now maybe we're still in that in that uh trap i guess well so but Yes. Yeah. Sadly, but, but, but actually, we I are. do feel like that that at least now we're making more of an effort to try. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. That's you're, good. You're right. becoming more you. You're becoming more of yourself. You know. Yes. It's more of an effort to literally try to really think out of the box and be creative and work with your limitations, divine, and kind of just surpass it. Yeah, surpass that. You gotta work with what you have and then surpass it. The the sad part there is well. Um, we we have been talking about the society recently and all, but how how the society changed already is it's be, it, it is actually being dependent or what we call this uh so influenced by being viral or famous. I mean for mm. for everyone, uh even if you talk to some of the kids, all they want is when when before when you ask kids what do you want to be when you grow up. I want to be a doctor, I want to be um, an engineer or what, whatever, and stuff. But right now, what do they say? I mean, there, there's nothing wrong with being a YouTuber or a blogger or what. But for them, I mean, that's going. That's the mindset already with that. I mean... You're kidding, really? I oh, mean, my God. Yes. I mean, I, there, I there, know that. there are kids that when you ask, that is their main what do you call this? <laughs> dream right now, being famous. I mean, the, yeah. for me, there's nothing wrong about being famous or what. But the thing there is, with the content being out right now on the internet, like what you mentioned, everyone's just copying each other. Whatever is viral, whatever is the challenge, everyone will do that. It's I I know I don't know, guys, if you have watched this movie, The Nerve or Nerve, something like that. It's about social media no. challenges. I mean. You guys so it's the one with Emma Roberts and yes, Anna yes. and um, the brother of James Franco. Yes, Dave, yes. Dave oh, Franco. I watched yeah. it. I watched yes. Where they yeah. did dares? Yes. Or truth or dare by Onya. Exactly. So dares are being given by the, the audiences and all. And then you have to do that. And everybody else does that and all. Something like that. I mean, that's happening right now. And like what I've been talking about uh, when this lockdown started, we're all in black mirror. <laughs> if you know the yeah, series Black know, Mirror, Black this is this is a big Black Mirror. What the pandemic is all about, this is a big Black Mirror. And um, okay, go go going back with what you mentioned about all of the creativity stuff, and that's that's the good thing. And and being optimistic in this type of time right now, the pandemic itself, the lockdown, is 
just to see people trying to be their own self, trying to escape. Exactly, you're being original. Exactly. You're becoming yourself. You're spending time mm-hmm. with yourself. I'd rather see so some... somebody else is influencing you. Exactly, Diego. I'm, 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 I would like to see someone do something that is not, that is very raw, not very professional. Yeah. But I can see the originality in it. I would, yeah. I would prefer seeing I that agree. rather than seeing something that I've seen a thousand times. For for me, uh, who who cares? I mean, in Tagalog, umay na ako dyan. <laughs> what, what, what's what's new with that? There's nothing new on the table to offer. So I'd rather see right. I'd rather see a product. I mean, like like what we were talking earlier about those FaceTime shoots. That's that is fashion photography. That's still photography. You see the model, you see the product, you see the poses right. and all. But the new thing there there is, hey guys, it's shot using FaceTime. And that's yeah, being original. Exactly. And that's what we want to, to to give here. Yeah. And can I just say sure. just that, you know, like like what my mentor was saying also that, you know, like with, with FaceTime, you, if you're going to use it as a tool, you still use it to shoot, like how you would shoot with a camera. You know what I mean? True. Yeah. yeah. It's just adapting. Um, I think sometimes some people forget the point also that they they, they they use FaceTime but then they 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 let it limit them to a sense that they don't really shoot the way they would shoot. They they are limited because they think, ah, it's just FaceTime. I can't really shoot. So they they, they don't push further. They don't push that boundary further. So it still looks like a webcam photo. Guys, there's a reason why that there's a reason why Apple throw in the, all those metal in those phones. I mean, it's not priced that <laughs> high just to be an ordinary phone. It has to be a super camera in it. I mean, for to, to be used for something else. I guess the person who's holding is the most important thing. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's like, we, like we talk, you, it's about what you see, you know? Yeah. We can't see mm-hmm. the same, you know? Yeah. Everyone in, sees different. In photography, you know, I always think it's not about the camera or how expensive or fancy your camera is, I think it's really the vision. Remember, exactly. remember the times when, well, it became a trend? Wherein everyone was just wearing their DSLRs on their necks. Oh, no! <laughs> that was totally a <laughs> thing! That was totally a thing! I mean, just, just, just to be called a photographer, really? yes, you have to be a, you have to be holding a DSLR. I mean, and then afterwards, you see a real photographer having a point, uh, holding a, a point and shoot camera. I mean, <laughs> it's not about the I equipment. Mean, I think, I think that's happening also. In 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 a actually, it's I think it's worse because now it's like you have Instagram, mm. and you can take some pictures on Instagram. You're a photographer, or you're good looking, and you take some good looking pictures on Instagram. You're a model. Exactly. Everyone can be everything now. Nowadays, you know, before I think to be a photographer, to be a model, or to work in this industry, you need to be chosen. You're selected, you know. Yeah. Everyone, everyone can be a model and yeah. be a photographer. <laughs> literally, like, you know, yeah, literally yeah. everyone. I'm sorry, but you know, yeah, these people yeah, never actually yeah. really work so, as a I mean, model or as a photographer. They never really work. Yeah. So they, yeah. they I, I, I just like. It's just very, very true that you're not, you know, it's just a, just a true. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, I think, I think Instagram has also just opened a can of worms as well. And so, it's like yeah, now. Yeah, everyone's an influencer like, now, you know. <laughs> yeah, everyone's you know what, so like, if you, I, I was looking at some profiles, I, I stumble on so many profiles, and a lot of them say, content creator Every, everyone is everything in the old days, you know, everyone is a top they model, are. a top photographer, everyone they is are. a content creator everyone is everyone is everything being a content creator actually has nothing to do with how many followers you have i guess you know? so. it's content creation because yeah, it's a like substance the, of what you're producing or what you're creating actually what we do for for clients you know like like exactly. okay we produce big shoots like campaigns. yeah but because everything is digital now clients have kind of downsized productions too they literally say like up on Instagram lang. Instagram. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so because that's like, what you say. Yeah. So literally like what, what we we downscale downsized our our um our productions. We have we still have like larger and, and medium sized productions, but we also get a lot of these like smaller scale 
digital content based productions where it's like literally the clients say oh pang Facebook lang pang Instagram mm-hmm. lang ganun mm-hmm. pang post lang because they need to post you know so literally content creation is not what people think it is it's not like posting pictures of yourself and you know it's it's you're not about you it's yeah. about the content it's about the the, the the products you're trying to sell something and this, this, yeah this is yeah. this is where actually reg industry comes in <laughs> this is what i always yeah. tell her this is where marketing comes in the gaslighting of things the manipulation the the yeah. driving for likes and the 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 hunger for being fame or what, famous or what that that's that that all yeah. came into place after that and for them uh like what you mentioned well content creation is not just about on the visual okay and there's a reason also why we have multiple social media platforms right now there's instagram you have facebook you have spotify for me is actually a, a social media platform you have youtube and TikTok others TikTok now TikTok yeah. now exactly exactly so it 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 matters on the type of audience, the type of market you want to approach. Exactly. I mean, if, exactly. if, you, exactly. if you are more on the visual side of things and the photography and all, uh, Instagram is good. No, but but we we completely, you know, when we work when we work with you know corporate clients and brands, mm-hmm. we have to, you know, we usually have art direction and we have creative direction and we usually work. We actually work with marketing. Marketing is right mm-hmm. next to us, telling us like. Yes. Oh yeah, can we change yeah, the colors? Of course, yeah. The colors are clashing with a company brand, and we change it. Or, you know, we 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 we, 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 we have to abide. We hear you. you no, know, we have we have clients who tell us, for example, you know, we have for example, we're getting a lot of Chinese in the Philippines, right? Right. Um, for example, you know, we have clients who say, okay, can you find us all Chinito and Chinita looking talents? Mm-hmm. And we do that. Yeah, so because we market understand as well, yeah. Yeah. For their market, yeah. you have to adapt for because them. Because we're you know? the ones creating, putting together, and producing the image or the visuals, even videos. So, uh, you know, we we definitely have to keep in mind, like you know, when, when you create content, it should be effective, and that's what I'm I'm trying to say. It's not out. It shouldn't be out of vanity, like creating content and like. You know, I don't know what I mean, right? Like, like it's just, you're just doing for just doing. You know what I mean? You need to do it because you need to work. You need to sell. It needs to work. Yeah. yeah exactly. you to, so you need to know, like, exactly. you know, to make it uh, in a commercialized way. You know, you need to make you make it sell. You need to make because in the, in the end, what a clients want. Exactly. They don't care if your picture is good or no. They want to make money out of it. You know. You don't. So you need to make. You need to know how to sell. You, you don't. You, you don't, don't spend. Good, good, yeah. Good. 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 Works. You need to know how to sell in a way that it sells for them. It works for them. Yeah. You don't so basically we start working with brands that actually they they don't want to develop their social media so they actually they, they started with nothing and they like they had no sales they didn't know how to do they invest a little money and they just like bro they went from point a to point z like they they advanced really quick because the content they're posting are like in the market they want to target the features are ex- they're they're being done exactly for the for those kind of people. You know, I mean, they're the selling the selling point is being yeah. very good. So what Diego was talking about is we're we're actually we we shot for a brand. It was a startup at that time last year. Last year. Yeah, last year. Yeah, just last year. Um, they basically make swimwear or conservative swimwear. So it's like you know, uh, Muslim or conservative, like very covered up. Yeah. Um, right and. They approached us initially, you know, uh, very surprised people, six people on a set, you know. Very simple, very simple. Very simple, shoot, simple very like small. maybe six, It's a startup brand. They want to six, start something, huh? Seven outfits, you know, uh, simpler, smaller budget. It was very simple. It was a startup brand. And we, we did their shoot, just a small studio shoot. And then one year later, like literally just this February, they did. They we we shot their their summer collection. their summer collection. Their summer yeah, collection. and they've they've come to us and they told us that Harper's Bazaar Singapore actually featured them, and then they used a fo- the photos that That's we great. shot. That we shot. And then um, from like literally like maybe they had three hundred followers. Now they have like twelve k. Oh wow! 
Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. that's a huge growth. And then from in one year, okay, and then from like from like shoot the small shoot, they decided to to book us again to produce a shoot, and this time we had what thirty people on set. Exactly, it was a bigger production, so they yeah. because they have it back, so they they understood, they understood how important it is to create a brand from from scratch. You know how important the that image, yeah. their image exactly. is, how how important building an image for your brand it is. So like they saw it grow, the growing so much. They're like just like okay. Now let's increase and make it so much bigger, you know. So that's what we see from small clients. They say they started from nothing and they go and they grow. They grow so much. They're like just like they totally understand how important it is and like and they trust us to do literally like to, to for our creativity. We can actually be creative on this kind of shoot. So that's what the, they give us creative exa- freedom, exactly. Actually. So that's a client that's of the most. The clients we actually it give us the freedom to. do. To do what they they trust us, they, they really trust, trust us. Guys, that's a, that's so the reason why they they, they get weekend. you. I mean, if, if they will just limit you, I mean, just just get you because of the things that you can do, and just don't give you creative, uh, freedom to do stuff. That that will limit yeah. the the totality of the product. I mean, I, I of of exactly. course of course so they know what they want. Nice to, yeah, yeah. But that we have we have those clients who exactly they are. Oh, I want these these and these. <laughs> and there I want A B C. I don't want. The EAF, you know? There are, there we are. Some, yeah, we, there are clients like that. I mean, exactly. It's like, why did you get us? Or you can do it yourself. Exactly. Clearly, you know what to do. But I do believe also that they they know their way and uh, we respect them as well. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's actually totally of cool. Uh, wait. But we totally love it when actually they trust us and let us do. Let us do, let us use our creativity on, the, on, on the, what we want to create, you know? Let us create our art, yeah. you know? I mean, usually when they work with us the first time, okay, they take a look at us. You know, we're like younger compared to compared to other people, to exactly. Other, yeah, you know, other creatives in our industry. Um, you know, our, 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 we have there are people in the industry. Our counterparts are, are older than us, right? So much older. Yeah. And so they take a look at us and they're a bit like, yeah, those kids. okay, those kids. We just think we're kids. And then, <laughs> and then we, after the first time we work together, I noticed that. They loosen up when they start to see how we work and that we can, we have, you know, we produce really good output, you know, and we're, we're very hands on. Then mm. on the second time, then they give us more creativity. So there are clients like that. So we but like it a lot when we this like happens, happens, actually. Yeah. There, we, we win their trust. There are a lot of, uh, of, of people like that in, in, the, in the industry. I mean, not only with your industry, but in others as well. I mean, Oh, be, be, sure. be, being the first there in that industry, not really first, but to be ahead of you being a senior in that industry, and then someone new, someone younger comes in with fresh ideas, that that's a, also always going to be a problem. Uh, oh, no, I mean, what, what I'm trying to say is mm. usually like the clients that we work with, they're corporate. Mm, mm, yeah. Ah, okay. They don't. Din lama gets because like they're older, the right? They're corporate. Ah, they okay, okay. In, and then they're like, Oh, they're all they're so young, the valet candle. And then they're a bit more like uh I guess you'd say nah, 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 alam sila at yes. first because they're like they're worried, you know, it's like uh they're, they're of course they're spending money, they're a bit more True. like, you know. And then they, they kinda when they see the way we work and we see that we've got them, you know, they're in good hands. And you see them kind of loosening up and they're like, oh, okay, they just really let us it's 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 a nice transformation to see them from kind of worried and anxious and you know, to just them actually trusting us, basically. Yeah. These are, we, I, we understand that they're corporate people. They, you know, they don't really know. They don't really understand. Like, understand yeah. 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 But it's really, it's really fun to see their, actually their faces. Are like, wow, oh my God, how did you do that? How did you do this? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they, they're surprised, actually. It's, it's really nice. Yeah, but at the end of the day, like what Diego mentioned earlier, when, when we talk about corporate, when we talk about the clients that are, or, or the brands themselves, it's a matter of that. Hey, those guys are spending money. Like what we're talk, that like what we're uh, discussing with other industries in the past episodes. Everything that's mm-hmm. done on the creative side. I mean, the live events, um, the DJs, the clubs, uh, what whatever is there. There's production behind that. I mean, same there as with production. same with pho- same with photography, and that is something that well, uh, those clients that are actually paying should start to appreciate. I mean, I've seen, I have a lot of friends that are actually on the creative side of things we're in. That's still the problem. I mean, 
whenever they have clients and then they meron dyan mga they, they can talk about Oh, can you lower the rate? Can we get something lower than this or what? <laughs> Guys, you have to spend if you want quality product. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it works like that. Client's budget, client expectations. You know what I mean? <laughs> of course. You expect so much for you, so bud. little pay. So actually, sometimes we're like, okay, you expect this. But you want to pay this or like how you want us to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you don't expect see the too much that you of what you're paying for. for. And then they see those photos, like, except they open a magazine and they see, a, they see an ad campaign for uh, Dolce Dior, Gabbana, Dior. Dior. And they're like, okay, I want, I want something like, like this. this. Okay, this will cost you a lot of money. And then you say, like, okay, but I have, like, okay, so how are you going to do that? You know what I mean? Hmm, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But, okay, so that's what people, that's what a lot of corporate and clients, they don't, they don't understand. Or, or they think like our job is like just taking pictures. Exactly, it's just taking pictures. You know, we like you. There's nothing to do about anything else. Or like the camera is so easy to use that you can just pick it up and press. Yes. Exactly. Like, or even modeling, it's so easy to stand in front of a like, camera. And, like it's so easy. <laughs> Guys, and when we talk about yeah. and when, like and when we talk about production, it's not only just photography. I mean, like what you mentioned earlier, there's the director. There are the yeah. fashion designers. Exactly. There are the pro- the Just post production. Hair and makeup. Hair and yeah. makeup, makeup. The venue, the clothes, whatever. Yeah. I mean, so stylist. I mean, like, that's the cost of the production. Yes. Let's say a designer. You know how many ta- how many, how long many hours he he spends to design one look? How many times do he spend to produce one look? Exactly. How how many hours? Does a makeup artist spend on like usually doing some doing some types of makeup? <laughs> How many yeah. hours does a hairstylist spend in a makeup in a in a hair of a girl who's like yeah. a long hair longer than Nina? Yeah. How many hours? It's, it's the skill also, the years it took them to perfect. Exactly. It. It's the skill. So it's just years, like yes. you put in time. They think it's easy. You know, they think it's easy, but it, it's so it's so freaking hard. No, it's, it's hard. Being the director, yeah. writing the script. It's harder than it looks. It's definitely harder than it looks. I mean, you're paying for the one, the training the person had to go through, the the years it took for them to be very good at their their craft, the creativity as well. Yeah. You know, and the quality. Example, the quality. You know, honestly, I I feel bad for the like sometimes like when we're in production, right? The clients really really try to cut the costs, and they don't. They think that That's some true. people are not. They think that okay, you give them the cost, and they're like, oh. Exactly. Their expectations are being the breakdown, and it's, it says all these people are involved in, in the production, and they're like, "Oh, do we still need the makeup artist or the hairstylist? Like, of course One. we need them. Like, what do you expect? They don't know how important it is. Or know? even the model. They think, why is the model getting paid that much? For example, exactly. it's a catalog. Okay, and they're like, they just have to take photos of like 200 outfits. Do you know how hard it is? They don't know how hard. They don't understand because they, they never did that. They just have to stand and, 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 and change. Do you know how hard it is to do 200 outfits? Diego here has done. What's your record? Guys, uh, as a model, I did them more like even like uh, maybe 150, 170 out changes in one, one day. In one day. Like uh, as a male model. Changes. Like in, in, in a catalog shoot. Changes. I already shoot a com- I shoot commercials for more than 24 hours, guys. So it's just like yeah. It's like you don't sleep, you know? Like you're standing like, imagine you're standing, you're you're in the sun, you're in the heat where winter clothes or you're in, like you think like freezing <laughs> cold minus minus fifteen and you're using summer clothes. And you're there standing for eight hours, guys. <laughs> it's really freaking hard, you know. Yeah, and you have to like project. You cannot really show your yeah, exactly. you have to like Exactly. Project. Or you're shooting the camera and it's freaking cold or like you're shooting it's so hot, you're melting, you know? Yeah. 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 The, the work guys, so it's really go. hard. The work must be finished. So. It takes some effort actually. It is. Oh, it's 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 not that easy as uh, as people think actually, you know. She sometimes some of her clients, you know, they they they, they, they come to the shoots, you know. Um, and they, 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 kind they of sit understand. and watch yeah. and then they start to understand oh that's hard actually it's that's hard. complicated oh they have a lot of lights oh they need like three assistants to carry and set up the lights you know like it's hard work <laughs> yeah so well, it's hard work for everyone for just like because it's easy to see the the ready product of things 
So, but you don't see that treatment, you know, that, and the uh, working process that it takes for that. Well, for for yeah, for the whole episode, Reg only posts for us. So I don't I don't know what happened to to her camera here. <laughs> for, is my camera still frozen? It is. No. We're, we're actually. How about now? Now, now, oh, now you're moving. So I just had to turn it on and off. Sana you guys told me earlier. Oh my God, kanina pa ako. I was like moving around here and. <laughs> well, we've had, we've been we've been having this this good conversation, and I think we we need to have a part two on this. We're we're, yeah. we're we're running actually for about an hour right now. <laughs> so really? yes, it is, guys. Oh to God. the the usual, I mean, <laughs> yes. To 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 wrap things up, I mean, the new fashion photography for for this for this night, we we learned a lot. I mean, with the FaceTime thing, with how the production works, how it's going to change. Yeah, going in yeah, to wrap. Gonna change yes. Yeah, to yeah. So basically, have now, that yeah. much people on set no. now. So basically, now we're limited to five people with the mm. on set. So yeah. we cannot have more than five people. I mean, after the May thirty one, from what we read, we don't know if it's uh, true. Uh, we well, can have ten people. Let's so not keep our hopes let's see up how for that. Go, you know, go, you know. uh, from what yeah. I've heard, they, they're planning to put us on GCQ after May thirty first, right? Exactly. Yeah, we, gonna be we don't know. Like, uh, we don't know. We don't know if that's going to happen. We don't know if people are ready for that. I mean, for one, yeah, people can go go to work. work malls can open because the economy needs it more than the safety or the health. Safe. Safe to go outside either. <laughs> I don't think it's that safe. Yeah, there's no vaccine. No, definitely no. You just follow protocol. You know? But you have to follow protocol. protocol yeah. But if you have to go, because guys, um, I'm sure there's people in the street. Problems. We have to be very grateful that we're here. You know what I mean? We have a roof. Yes. Uh, we have food in our table. We have everything we need exactly. We have a comfort of our house. Nah. Yeah. But imagine for people outside, if it's a family like who is needing a. Uh, they need to buy food. They don't have. They have to work. Yeah. You have to work. You're not gonna let your family starve. You have to work. So like, exactly. a lot of people are gonna gonna even they, they take it. They take the risk to do it. You know. Yeah. So yeah, we have to be very very grateful for like have your comfort of ours to be able to afford ourselves to be at home and just like okay, no problem. You know what Stay I mean. Same. I can work from home. Yes. You know what I mean. Yeah. Like imagine if you are working. Uh, Let's say something that you need to go outside, like daily right? Wage. You need to do daily wage. Exactly. You need to, you need to daily wage. You need to sell. We need to you need to do that. You need to do something else, you know? You you have to work at like construction. Exactly, like construction. You have to work. Yeah. It's daily wage if they don't work and they don't get paid in the end of the month, they're not they're gonna eat, you know. So yeah. They have to, they have to take the risk. Yeah. Even though it's not safe. Reg. Your, your take on this new fashion photography that Diego and Nina shared to us tonight? Um, well, for the most of it, I didn't know that my video was frozen, but I hope I'm not <laughs> frozen right now, right? <laughs> no. um, but basically, actually, we've been doing this. This is, what, our seventh episode, and one, one occurring thing has always... Um, I've always learned one thing from each episode that had something in common, and it's that limitations are really breeding grounds for creativity, especially for people in very creative industries, in theater, in cinema, in music, in fashion photography. You know, those are very, very creative um, I like what you said industries. There. Yeah, because... Limitations are breeding ground for creativity. Exactly. I mean, they are, because we talked about it before. We, we had DJ Patty too on the show with Mark Thompson, and they were talking about how they started getting creative. They started fixing their music. And it's the same thing... For um for people who are who are in theater when we had the cast of the of Angling El Bimbo and that's that's the thing I feel like the new fashion will come out more creative as well you know you guys are gonna come out with your own styles or with particular yeah. things that you guys are going to enjoy that projects the originality or your actual personality you in the yourself. shots you're gonna take yeah you show yourself through your work you're gonna you're gonna yeah. like what we discussed before in the previous episodes, you're going to be more yourself after this and it's going to show through your work and through 
your creative or yeah, your thinking every, process. Everything. Because everything. on this moment, guys, we didn't have anything to like, uh, let's say, daily daily things that we have to deal with, in, you know what I mean? So yeah. we have time to work on ourselves, to improve ourselves. If you didn't, it's just like, come on, that's that's just no excuses. You have a lot of time, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So you should go out of this quarantine so much better than you actually went there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, exactly. You have a lot of time to improve yourself and to really get to know yourself more. Exactly, improved version of yourself, a better yeah. version of yourself. That's true. All right. Well, for me, uh, well, before I end this, I'm I browsing with, with Michael's uh, Facebook. So he just shared this. I just want to share this. We're trying to get Michael on the show. So I'm not sure if it's seen. This is a sample of, of, of a medical gown for the frontliners that Michael Cinco is doing right now. Michael Cinco. Awesome. Yes, yeah. yes. So I, yeah, I know Michael. Yeah, we, we, we spoke to, I spoke to, to him, but he's actually quite shy to do an episode in video. So he was just saying that, I'll just give my answers by an interview right up and then you can just read it there. We're, we're still hopeful to, to get him in the show. Because we want to talk yeah. about fashion with him, and uh, well, that that gown there actually just, I'm just so fascinated with that. I mean, that's a medical exactly. gown. So <laughs> that's now, a medical gown. It's gonna be a part. Exactly, it's gonna be a part of fashion. Like we using masks, yeah. designing masks, yeah. designing uh, face shields. Exactly, face shield is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be part of fashion. True. Even True. though people are used the uh, uh, kind of face shields and yes, yes. Before, now it's gonna be it's trend. It's trend because it's something I must. It's I a remember must. a fashion attending a fashion show before where in models are wearing face shields. I mean you don't get it. You don't really get it. Right? Exactly. Where they're walking with with face shields and all. But but right now okay, it's a common. It's something normal that you you go out and then you see someone wearing face shields right now. Yeah. And that's exactly the designer probably will sell all his his pieces of that collection now because they. It's it's a must. Yeah. It is. They had, <laughs> go out to the street without a mask. They had an online fashion show actually just the other day, right? Yeah, they had an online fashion show. It was really awesome. Really, really nice. Let, let's do a fashion episode with that one. I'm trying to get in to get in some fashion designers, production and all and let's let's talk sure, about the yeah, runway yeah, and yeah, all. I mean really nice. that that's going to be fun. I mean it, talk, talking about we'll the bring new some people in. Yes, they we'll bring the, some people in. The new fashion, talking about how I mean the fashion shows. And then, I mean, that's the reason why we, we broke it down. The new fashion photography, because when we talk about fashion, it's it's a huge industry. And that's something that we want to do with the upcoming episodes, really breaking down the society into bits. Because, I yeah. mean, we, we talked about with DJ Chacha of MOR last time with the new broadcasting. But, of course, that's more on the radio side of things. So, we want to, to branch more into the TV internet media, whatever. So we're we're doing that also with fashion. Okay, now on my take with the new fashion photography, what, what I learned here, like what Reg, Nina, and Diego told earlier, um for one, production right now is limited. So with, with the guidelines, with yeah. social distancing, imagine if you have three people on the set, that's not possible right now. Okay, what, that's yeah. impossible. You what, can't do that. That's against the law. Yes. What does that mean? I mean, you have to cut people, and with with cutting people, uh, that means more work for those who have work. Okay. Exactly. And um, with with that, we have to. I mean, for the clients, we have to keep in mind that, hey guys, those are humans, those are not robots. Okay. They they have they they get tired. They get exhausted. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there's there's a lot of factors for a good product to come out. Okay, and then right now right. you trim down. You trim down not because you're cutting costs, but you trim down because of the pandemic, because of what's happening, because of the guidelines. And that's uh that's something that we cannot avoid. Okay. Their expectations have to be managed. Yes, exactly. Yeah, oh. You cannot expect something huge. Like something really a True. pretty big production now. True. It's impossible to do. True. Another Even thing. Even through like movies or like anything, <laughs> any any other industry, it's very limited now. Yes, like yeah. like what like what Kent and RC discussed, Reg, during the cinema episode. Yeah. Uh, another thing is, um, well, this is something like that. Uh, Patty, well, Mark mentioned 
So before the festivals, before the clubs, before all of the big events that they've been, uh, Patty playing front act to David Guetta, uh, they were bedroom DJs. They were what? Bedroom, bedroom DJs. DJs. You start your dream at the comfort of your own home. You play, you play for yourself. You play for your few friends. You you, you do your you do your craft. That's interesting. You, you do your craft at home. So, like what you mentioned earlier, this is a whole reset button. So for them, all of the DJs are back to bedroom DJs because you're back at your home playing. Okay, and I think that's something that's also here with with photography. Where where do all of us start? You you start, I mean, dreaming being a photographer or a DJ at home and all, and then right now you're confined back to that place. You it's it's a bit of nostalgia there when you go back and then right now. You're right, actually. You're exactly right. right? Yeah. Right. That the, the it makes you like uh, uh how can I say go back to your beginnings, your home beginnings, right? Roots. You go yeah. back to your you're roots. Just like. You're like just aspiring to be something, you know what I mean? That's true. That's yeah. true. So, I mean, the, the only difference now is the experiences that you acquired along the way. I mean, of course, let's say you guys from the early 2000s, I think, what are you guys doing? What are you capable of? And then right now, 2020, you're back there and you've been all through these experiences. You're 170 outfit changes in a day, your your photography via FaceTime, all of those changes you and the world is just waiting for you to offer something new. Right. And you yeah. and, and where do you get that inspiration? You get that inspiration from the things that you experience. Nothing more. That's so true. Okay. Yeah. It becomes a part of you and it definitely shows in your work. Exactly. Sure, yeah. And lastly, I mean, uh, well, it's just being grateful for others. Uh, sooner or later, when, when some of us goes back to work, we will see again those people on the set, your, your co-workers. You just need to be more grateful to each other. Uh, what they're doing, okay, for you, let's say you're doing a production shoot. Mm. This is something that we're experiencing right now. Like doing this podcast... It's like doing the production, producing, hosting, uh, editing, and all. You're doing it on your own. Yeah. And then all DIY. Exactly. Yeah. And before, if you yeah, even you, like the, like the small the, the people that you know like usually you know, like the assistant like you start to really appreciate the, the small things, you know. Exactly. Yeah. So I guess um uh, when 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 we all go back. To, to whatever it is that's that is out there when we come back, it's the lesson here is actually being grateful to to just about what people can do for you, because right now we're seeing it. We're we're doing everything on our own. Yeah. And 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 that is something that uh it's it's good that we are all being independent, in a sense. But at the same time, it's a way also on the other side of things to appreciate. Oh, before. I have an editor. Oh, before I have someone to do the errands or to do something like this. Before, and then, yeah. But right yeah. now, no. You're doing it on your own, man. For tonight, new fashion photography. Guys, Nina and Diego, thank you for the fruitful talk. I mean, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Enjoyed it. yeah, uh, we, we hope that you enjoy this. I mean, we've been doing this for, for two weeks now, but uh, with, with the people that we bring in, we learn, and I hope you guys learn as well. And this is just a conversation. This is just a plain conversation yeah. that we also want. Nice yeah, that we also want to to share to everyone. I I'm I'm hoping for the fashion episode to see you two again. Definitely. For sure. Gotta have a part two. Okay. Uh, Reg, anything to say? Um, hold on, sorry. My phone is kind of lagging a bit. <laughs> no, you're good. You're, you're moving. Say, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to Nina and Diego for being here. And guys, don't forget to um, stay tuned. Um, right after this episode, we will be having this podcast available on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts as well. 
don't forget to like and follow our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the new hue ph and our Instagram at the new hue ph. Vlogger. How about you guys? I mean your Instagrams. Diego and Nina. You guys are doing a giveaway, right? Yeah, so we're doing oh, yeah. a giveaway. Um, basically created this Instagram called The Giveaway Circle. So that's at oh, The Giveaway I'll Circle. Um, I'll, I'll show you guys. What a circle. We're, <laughs> all these giveaways are basically it's okay. happening on Instagram. And everyone's giving away like an iPhone or like AirPods or a MacBook Pro. And we're like, why are you going to give away a phone? I think I saw Katarina no, post it as well. Oh, no. <laughs> Why do all we give away an e-bike or cash? Because, dude, it's a lockdown, you know? Like, some, some people don't have cars or, like, transportation, and there's no grab, right? So, why not an e-bike? It's electric. You plug oh, it in your wall. Guys. So, there it is. Follow well, they, the let's see if, if, I, if they can see it clearly. But if not, I'm going to add the... The, yeah, we're the gonna add the <laughs> plug in right here. Yeah. So basically, yeah, follow that so that you can Why, get a counts? chance to win forty thousand pesos cash or an amazing <laughs> e-bike. So you can basically, if you're the winner, you can choose between the two prizes. That's cool. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you sure. so much. Well, once, once again, Thank um, you, good evening, everyone. To those who are tuning in, um, like what we mentioned earlier, this is going to be on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Check out our website. It's www.thenewuph.com. Okay, so social media accounts, everything is there. Once again, Nina, Diego, thank you very much for tonight. Thank okay. you. Reg, thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye, guys. Bye.